Hey, and welcome back to my let's play of Endorian Tales. Let's load up. In the previous episode, we just completed the Blacklink Mine and have successfully exterminated all of the wizards. What did we get here? Did I? Okay. What the? I cannot open this one. I can open this one from far ahead. Can open this one and can open. Really? That's odd. They explored everything here. I did. But before we continue, let's save the game straight away. This looks a bit weird. But first of all, let's try and see the map of the mines. I want to be sure that I've explored everything. Ah, there we go. Didn't crash the game. And you can see the logo, so I didn't load it up yet. Oh, and there it goes. I guess it crashed. Yep, be right back. Right, and I am back. That was a very bad, bad start of the recording. Let's try that again. I want maps. There we go. Blackwing mine, first level. One moment, I'll need to adjust the volume, I guess. For myself. There we go. I think I did explore the whole thing. That was the only illusion. Jewels. Jewels, jewels, jewels. So on the first level and all of those corners, I can actually dig for jewels. That's the other exit. That's fine. I don't want this. Go back. Go back, I said. Okay. Second level. I did this bit good. On the third level. Oh, there are secrets here and... Uh, huh. There's also a secret here. Good to know. Oh, and an illusion here. Level 2. Right, so I'll start off by to the north, to the north, to the north, and to the west, where I cannot, to the north. I'll try to dig those items up first. And Apex, that's where I came from, good. So, exit. Good, I would miss out on a lot of things. Let's skip this one for now. Check the map. Yep, all of here is explored. And I wonder if I have enough of new ore and the other uh, magic ore to actually completely dispel everything what I can. Yep, didn't find those locations before. Cast. Where's the dispel? You don't have to have mana, of course you don't. God damn it, need to rest already. Now the question is, why didn't I rest in the previous uh, video? First, let's see if I have enough food to rest. Not a single piece so far. A lot of jewels, a lot of armor. Yep, not a single piece of food. That actually worries me a bit. And all of my heroes are fully, um, have their inventory full, except the Endor. I mean, uh, what's his name again? Wahuka. Endor. Can I? No. Okay, that's a chest. Of course you cannot. I don't even have a bag. So, cast, create food. Wahooka. Close, cast, create. Wahooka. Close, cast, create. And one more. Rest. Miner's light. 
dispel illusion. Oop, not jump, not jump over. Of course, there's a mate. It would be too easy. Really? I can't really remember how strong those guys are. Um, tell us, I believe, electric burst? Nope. What the hell did I use at them? On them. Cold slash. Not severe wounds. Mm, nope. Yeah, a regular attack will do for now. I think I was holding to trap now. One chest. Where are my lockpicks? Unlocked. Actually, this is bad. Let's cast Marker Return. And to mark this place. Now, I want to use por uh, the key of hope, of Port Hope. Thank you. Need to sell a lot of my stuff. Sell. Nope. I don't need that. Yeah, I don't need those. I would be wearing them by now if they were any better. Sell all of it. Whatever I can. Whip plus two. Okay. Five. That's five as well. I guess all my shields are plus five as well. So anything that's plus six will be an improvement. I need to look um, at, at every single piece of my equipment just to see if there's anyone else with a plus four item. Is that it? I'm still quite overburdened. But this will need to do for now. Um, yeah, let's grab some food. And now purchase food. Or drinks. I hope this also restores health, not magic. Now... We're gonna head towards the... Can I go this way? I can. Um, the other town. To sell the jewelry and stuff. And it's somewhere here... Yep, still remember. I'm not sure if I would get any better prices in different location. Can't be... Really? Forgot about one leggings. But I'll leave them. It's a plus three anyway. Whoa, 2700. That was a lot. We've got a lot of potions. I think those are the ones that wait the, mo the most. Oh, and you. Thank you. This should be all for the inventory management. Now cast this and return. Thank you. That's a nice spell. And potion. This reminds me I need to open up the cheat sheet on the potions. Pile of chemistry. Who uses chemistry? Mac. There we go. Now, towards the second location. 
Yeah, we can go this way. Not you. I kind of, kind of figured that this guy would appear. Few of you and Fiery Arrow. Don't forget to pick it. For a second I thought I forgot to loot the other chest. Navigation. That goes for the Ragnar. Good, good. Where's the third one? Oh, we are quite close to the other two. Not surprised by this view. Okay, here they are with a good choice. And hey, level up. Excellent. Good that I have the key to move quickly back. Um, just shove it in the chest. Really, another bag. What am I supposed to do with them? And hey, a gold nugget that I forgot to sell. Shove them here. At some point, I'll probably need to get rid of the chests and move to the uh, bags, backpacks, whatever they are called here. Shrapnel. Nice. So the final chest. The electric proc, good. Hey, a ring. Curse protection ring. You can have that. Health potion. With a wooden shield. Plus an awesome four. That's my AC. We need to live with that. Right, that's all for this place. Now all that is left is the final thingy here. It was this way. Oh, hey, another portal. Let's save. Kind of afraid of it. Um, that's a nope. That's a scorpion. I am Lost Isles of Yender. So, before we do that, Port Hope. So, Let's sell all of the stuff that we don't need at this point. Yeah, I, I wanted to leave that, those pants. I think, I think there's not much more that I have for sale here. So finish this off and get the level before we take on the scorpions. Train. I can only train you through to level 10. Oh, god damn it. So, we actually wasted some magic here. Back to town. To the tavern. Let's rest. Purchase food. Really? Oh my god. Oh, okay. I can buy it like that. Good. Done. Finish. Cast. Can I return? Nice. Now let's try to blind 
blindly go where we were. Um, mm -hmm. Well, not blindly, according to the map. And once again, save the game because we are we are now fully rested. And let's take on the scorpion. Okay, shrapnel dealt some decent damage. And it gives a lot of experience and stuff. Let's see how our ranged weaponry deal with it. Not bad. But still not good enough to actually... Um, to actually, there's something that looks like a goblin. Um, our weaponry doesn't look strong enough to deal uh, with the scorpions. With yeah, with ranged, it's not good enough to kill it. New ore, burn, burn. Okay, that's better. But that is wasting a lot of uh, resources. Just die. That is che cheaper to do. So, no scorpions here. There's a house. Oh, it's a town. Not yet. Let's take on this goblin. Oh hey, he has a shield and an and axe. Okay. Let's first. I think this will hurt. Oh, wasn't that bad. I sh we'll probably deal with him. Okay, he gives more experience than um, than the scorpions, which is appropriate because he is way stronger. Torchlight password. Yes. Right, we don't have that. We are in a town, and I do see. What's that? Oh, hey, that's a skeleton. With a weird looking head, skull. Oh my god, barely done any damage to it. Can I? I don't know. Close. Barely do any damage to it. Same goes for spells. Immune to cold magic. Not immune to the other spells. Nice. They give even more than... What were those? They do give a lot more experience than those goblin looking creatures. A blue potion. Whatever that was. A column that you cannot actually do anything to it another bed another column more blue potions can i shove them in anywhere nice and what do you do okay you heal whoa you run an expensive healer what is this paria Whoops. Can I shrapnel you down? That works quite well. But almost out of magic. Didn't I, didn't I have any scrolls of magic? Part heal. 
No, no. I do remember having a few of them. Hex monster, let's try that out. I think all of us have electric burst already. Forgery. And jump over. And I believe that was all that I had. Let's replace those. Hex monster. Yeah, that's all. Right. So, can I learn? No. What about you? Nice. Meg will be our healer. Jump over. Yeah, all who need it already know this. Forgery, no idea what that is. Hex monster. Go, Meg! That should be it. Slowly. Ah, there it is. I really doubt that. He was its name. Poison arrow deals any poison damage to skeletons. Wasn't there any spell that hits undead? Somewhere. Gold, magic ore, a longbow. Let's see. It is. A gnome. Figurine? Rean? It's not a weapon. Probably not equipment as well. I got more potions. One sec, let me find the... What's it called? The thingy to... My cheat sheet, basically. There we go. Blue potion. Damage, 50 points to undead. So basically, we should carry those around. I'll give them to Meg to her big bag. I want to see how this works. And one here for quick access. And what about here? A noble figure rises from his chair and looks up at you with an inquisitive stare. I had heard that there were humans in town. Now I see that the rumors are indeed true. Town. This is the town of Paria. You will be welcome here until you decide to leave. Job. I am the Hans Chancellor of this town, it is my job to watch over and protect the race of gnomes that live inside the town and on the island. Gnomes? I assume that you come from the new land to the north, therefore it is likely that you have never encountered a people such as ourselves. Recently our scientists noticed a dramatic change in, in the density of the mist that had always existed to the north. Eventually it was totally dissipated and we could see this new land. Perhaps one day we could meet with your town leader. <coughs> Excuse me. This island has always been inhabited by f fierce goblins, but now we have a new problem. A strange curse seems to have fallen over Paria. Our dead have begun rising from their tombs in the mausoleum portal. You explained that you arrived here through a portal while following a band of evil wizards. The chancellor wonders aloud. Perhaps they are the ones responsible for the problem we are experiencing with our miners. And the problem is, as you may have already noticed, Peria is almost completely overrun by skeletons. If you can eliminate them, I will let you know who can tell you about the miners. Bye. We shall encounter one another again, adventurers. 
So yeah, that's our goal for this town. Eliminate skeletons. But the problem is, they're goddamn strong. Hmm. I want to save here. And once again, let's do this. Do this. Actually, this is a very quick way around. And there was that guild somewhere and on this side, the wizard's guild. Nope. Oh my god, really? Just one for more step. It was on the other side of the cave, I believe. I'm not sure where exactly. Ah, there it is. Yeah, this should do. Now we can use the Pegasus. Right here-ish. Now let's see what spells are here. By scrolls. We have enough magic. We don't need Miner's Light 1. We've got that. Remove Jinx. Turn Undead. That's what I wanted. Party Heal. And Thin Skin. I wonder what's Thin Skin. Done. Can we learn this? Oh, nice. Let's get the other one as well. Probably I'll, I would get it as soon as I level, but... Oh my god. Right. Done. Bye. Party. Learn. 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 Now, let's head back. Do I have anything, any gems to sell? Just one or two pieces, that's fine. So I'll use this again. I wonder if this is infinite usage. Examine this bow for me. Damage nine. Damage eight, only plus four. Now that's an upgrade. Oh my God, oh my God. Damage six. A plus five. Right. So, long story short, I'm out of here. I know that I shouldn't do this, but I'll do it anyway. In here, enhance. Yeah, this should do. Damage 11. Twice as strong. Finish. Once again here. Rest because we were badly damaged. Straight to the bag. And now... Actually, I should've... I should've... Uh, what's it called? Return, mark the other place. Yeah. Good that I am close enough. So basically for my understanding, we, we need to eliminate all of the skeletons and only then we will receive the password to the mines. So let's see if the spell works. Let's turn lights on. Turn undead. Well, it does work. Two of two casts take half health. Electric Burst is slightly weaker than that. So I assume this spell will help me out on clearing out this place. But the other thing is... Is it a AoE spell or single target? Hmm. 
Really, Meg? Really? Oh my god. How can you break something fighting a skeleton? And it's like a goddamn hammer. What did the skeleton do? Drink a lot of milk? I don't know. Well, actually, the, let's have the goal for this episode to clean out the city out of skeletons. Um, shrapnel, I guess. You have to. A portal. Oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to check out those potions. Moment I saw the beds, I thought I did forget about something, did I? So yeah. The woman looks surprised to see you. What can I do for you? What's your name? My name is Gwendolyn. I am the chief alchemist of Peria. Until only a few months ago, I was the apprentice of Cymac. Since his disappearance, I have been the acting chief alchemist. Apprentice? Although alchemy is one of the main interests of many of our people, I was chosen over everyone else by Cymac to become his apprentice. Cymac. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why he chose to leave without telling anyone. He didn't even tell me where he was going. I do know that it had something to do with the voice. Perhaps his journal holds the answer. Voice? I'm not sure if I should tell you. You are new here and you are, after all, human. Gwendolyn thinks for a moment. If you were to help my friend Parrish, I would consider telling you what you wish to know about the voice. Sure. I have some powerful scrolls. What do you have? Linguistics parchment. Okay. Dispel undead. That's what we have, I guess. Scroll of holy rain. Save heaven. And unlock... Oh, I will need this for... For the lock in the first town. So I'll get that later on. Because there, I think there's no rush. I don't trust barrels. Not locked by trapped. Okay, disarmament. Okay, I cannot. Whoa, 50,000. What's this? Gnome painting. Mm, okay. Linguistics. Linguistics and chemistry. So Karasi and Mac. And the other one. At least it wasn't a trap. Hundred gold. Some food, that's always welcome. Bread, magic apples to regenerate magic. A pink potion that I will not fit anywhere. Good, good. So, oh wait, I have turned undead. She has dispel undead. That sounds more powerful. Give me that. Not you. Not you. The question is, can I learn it? Of course not. I'll keep it for now. There's a portal. Right, the potion. Supposed to use a potion. Mm, I guess it worked. It does. See? 
seems that those guys have a lot of health. Let's see. Any more of those? Yep, quite a few. Now, turn on that. Very good. Feet of lead. Okay, it works only on one. Ouch. Nice. With all the experience that I get, I may be able to actually get two levels instead of one. But the question is, is it a trainer on ground or... Uh, that's definitely a nope. Shrapnel. Undead gnome. Turn undead. Undead. Burst. Ew, it vomited at me. Nice, it's worth even more than the others. I should get some rest here. And the graphics broke, awesome. Oh, what can you do? It's not a game breaker. Requires iron key. Requires iron key. I don't have an iron key. Lockpick. Requires key. What the hell are lockpicks for then? Oh hey, the blue thing got bigger. Trap down. And turn on that. Perfect. There's one. I want to find another one. As it will be best to deal with them in pairs. Oh my god. Ah, okay. So follow me. If you be so kind. He's one step away. Nope, another portal. Right. So, throw up this guy. Just some electric bursts. Nice. That's how I need to deal with those skeletons. Let's see. Okay, so that's the one. Um, can I throw it while in combat? I can. Burst. Burst. This works quite well. I'm happy that I went back to grab those spells. How is the map looking? Okay, we are around halfway through the city. There's one skeleton. I could need to move the cursor away. Nope. There's another one. This may be painful. Catch this. I actually need to be careful because the moment I will lose magic is when I'm dead. Close, attack. Magic attack. Thank you. And... Improve health. 
Thank you. And now this guy turns purple. Awesome. Web. It's it's and bits of greenish. How am I supposed to actually? Oh my god. No, I don't have any means to have them both attack me at the same time. So attack, attack, burst, burst. Thank you. Now I am running low on magic. What do we have here? Produce. Lock door. Welcome strangers. What can we get for you? 15. Oh nice, it's very cheap. Do we have food? We don't. So we can rest. I assume more talking here. Greetings and welcome to our town. What's your name? I am Constance. I'm the foremost historian of the town. It's a very important job. I'm, I am responsible for keeping up with current events, as well as recording the past which my, which my father taught me. And his father taught him. L L Lysi all is also fond of history. Lisa, Lysi? Meh. Town. This town's name is Paria, which means outcast. Alexander thought it would be a fitting name for our people. They put their thingies on the outcast, so this may be the password to the mines. Outcasts. Centuries ago, we lived in the land of Thane until our king was killed by a great disaster. The new ruler, rulers were evil and vowed to rid Thane of all non-humans. They rounded everyone up and sailed us into the mist of the edge of the world. Everyone? Not, not only were the gnomes cast out, but elves and halflings too. They are rumored to inhabit the other islands to the east of here, Edge. At that time, it was thought that the mist bordered the edge of the world, and that if you sailed into it, you would fall off. The rulers of Thane never knew that we had survived and set our own town here, Alexander. When our people were on the ship sailing to their doom, he kept everybody calm. When they landed on this island, they decided that Ale Alexander should be should be the first uh, counselor. He was an inspirational leader until he died as an old man. Lysi is the governor's assistant. She is away right now, but if you happen to meet her, she will buy any gnome artifacts you find. Buy. So probably the figurine that we already have. Lock door smells like trouble. So let's see. It has to be locked for a reason. Small bits of gold. And ore. And blast of power. Scroll. And more ore. Can we learn this? Nope, not yet. This sucks. We probably cannot learn of any of the spells that we found. Maybe later. So let's see what's in the middle. There was a door here, right? Yep. Just gonna map this bit. Trap defeated. Gnome tap tapestry. So I've got a painting. Tapestry and figurine. And some black potions, because why the hell not? A po 
all nothing else and you sell candles leather bags and other supplies steel ring of armor plus eight that is nice and I think he will buy my boxes. If only they would be empty. No. Oh. Will you buy that? Oh, he did. Nice. I may do that later on. Just to uh, organize my inventory a bit or a lot. So that's the portal in the middle. That's the same thing. Locked door here. Locked. Yep, the iron key required. Two corners left. Obvious illusion is obvious. Cast the spell. Oh, hey. Do I have any more of those nice potions? I'm afraid not. I think ah, there's one. Yeah, I think I had it had them before. Just gonna electric electric burst my way through those. Die. There's one more, more two more. That's good. Can I throw some at you? I can. Here, catch another one. Hey, hey! You were supposed to come in combat with the other one. Thank you. That's a bit too late now. Magic attack. Die. Come on. Thank you. Requires iron key. Wrong button. So there are two doors that require that. And I see this side. The, there will be an open space. Locked location and same in the corner. I. I assume. I wonder what does the portal do. But I'll leave that for a bit later. Oh, potions. Oh, joy. Copper ring of armor. I'll need to sell this later on. Purple potion, my god. Once again, potions. Gray. Oh, some potions to throw. And what do you... Oh, I can buy magic ore. 10 GP per unit. Nice. Oh, only magic ore. No new ore. So potions. Yeah, no. Finish. So I still need to find a trainer. I do see two skeletons here. Three skeletons here. Oh, that's even worse. I move with Pegasus here. Oh, I can. Nice. So there's one. I would need to move diagonally. Because one is here, one is here, one is here. If I move here, for example, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh, move the wrong way. Yeah, just smash him. Thank you. Burst. And this one. Burst. Oh my god, wrong spell. Well, it worked, so... 
and they miss with the bottle. Awesome. Anything else? Anyone else wants some? Okay, that's down the drain. More holy uh, water of undead slaying. Before you stand, stands a young man trying to pull a large barrel behind him. He stops and looks up at you. My name's Derek. Where are you from? Origin. You tell the boy that you come from the land to the north known as Yender. That sounds familiar. I wonder where I've heard that name before. I think it was in the history class. I think one of the dead king, one of King Thane's offspring was named Yender, but there were so many it's hard to remember them all. History. Constance teaches history as well as other subjects. If you want to know more, you should ask her about it. Barrel. He seems frustrated and upset. I'm trying to take this barrel of water to the guild for my father, but it's just too heavy. Guild? I'll need to get my membership from Constance before I can take the barrel to the guild. Father. My father is Staplar. He's one of the greatest alchemists in town, but he's away right now. He looks back at the barrel. You see, he wants me to have this barrel of water enhanced so that he can make blue potions out of it. Offer help. You explain that you'll take the barrel for him. That's a great idea, but you'll need a membership before you can take the barrel to the guild. Bye. See you around. So we need to go to Constance for the membership. One more table, barrel, secret passage. What could you possibly want from me, humans? If you really must know, my name is Parish. Job. A scowl comes across the gnome's face. I'm in charge of the mausoleum below the town. It's usually a, an easy job, but recently I had to lock the doors to keep the undead from entering the town. I don't know how long I can keep them down there. Mausoleum. It's where our dead are buried. It's kinda like a graveyard, but more for the upper class. Gnomes prefer it that way. And deads? You'd be a fool to take them on. I even had Gwendolyn put up an illusionary wall to help. However, with the counselor's permission, I will give you the key to the stair stairwell. Bye. Oh, a nice looking sword. Well, a long sword even. Yay, more potions. Illusionary wall. And that's it, of course not. So, cast Karasi the spell. Nice. Magically locked. Guess what I need for this? As the second. Uh, Oh hey, bye. So let's see. We have eastern and western uh, grace to go down. There are, there is one magical magically locked chest and two doors that require iron key. So first, let's meet up with Constance. I think it was here. Who are you again? Reward. You tell the counselor that he shouldn't be having any more trouble with skeletons in the town. If you are willing to continue your tirade against the undead, Parish needs some help in the mausoleum. I tell him you have my permission. Reward. Nice. If you still wish to know about the minor problem, speak with Gwendolyn. The counselor reaches under the table and removes an ornate box. He extends his arms and offers its contents to you. Let's see, 10,000 gold, 250 magic ore, ringmail leggings, we'll sell that. Ringmail armor, the same for you. 
A short bow plus four. No. No. Thank you. One upgrade. That is nice. Hammer plus four. No upgrades this time. And a disease protection ring. Um, copper ring of armor can go. Done. And you had also enhancements. You exchange thank yous with the counselor. Yours for the reward and his for your help against the skeletons. Enhancement. The counselor bestows to each party member a magical enhancement. You are now better able to evaluate a monster in battle. Survival plus 10. Nice, thanks. So, two more things to do. First of, first of all, I need to meet with Parish. I need the goddamn key. Here, yep. Job. A skull comes across, blah, 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 blah. Mausoleum, and that's key. Here we go. The stairway, stairwell is in the south eastern corner of town. Oh, by the way, this key will also unlock the door to the trainer here in town. That's what I thought. Thank you. Something, something illusionary walls. Screw that. So, trainer first. Then let's check out the portal, and that I think will be it for this vid. Unlock. Oh, a, no, thank you. I'll pass on the potions. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep those as well. Train. Ten. Whoa, that is expensive. Level eleven. You can now spend points. Um, I was supposed to put some in decks and the rest in casting. I want to be the strongest mage around. Well, mages. Thanks. Just a few more. Yeah, this should do. Nice. And the final one. Finished. I wonder how much experience till the next level. So there are two more things that I need to do. First, Constance. Francis Simek. I don't know why he chose to leave without telling anyone. Blah blah blah. Boys, miners. Ah, a curse has recently come out over the island. Our miners are guarding the upper levels of Torchlight as, f as though they are protecting something. They've killed everyone that's come near. We can't even talk to them to find out what's going on. Torchlight. Torchlight is the mine to them west of town. It is rich in its supply of the ore that we use as a regent for magic spells. If you choose to enter, you'll need to know that the password is Alexander. I thought that will be either Outcast or Alexander. We don't need your scrolls. Done. Bye. Now, learn... No, not yet. What about... Oh. I already have that. Forgery, jump over. Can I? Of course not. And I had that one more spell for the undead. Not here, not here. Ah, there we go. Now this will be a killer. Anything else? 
Let's check out their displays. Membership. I suppose I can sell you a membership to the Alchemist Guild. It will cost 2000 gold to become a member. Sure. You're now a member. But where the hell is the guild? I have no clue. I'm not here. Here. Before I talk to him, one another save. I don't want to be over encumbered by some barrel of water. You explained that you'll take the barrel of water to the guild. Would you really? Hey, after you bring it back, I'll give you some free blue potions for helping me. Not sure if I want to do that. Can I at least carry it? Or is it too heavy? Yeah, uh, I'll do that later. Yeah, no way I can do it now. So I guess that is all. I can straight on click on the portal here. What is the password? Alexander? East? North? Password? Is? Nope, no idea. So this is a riddle for the next time. Um, in the next episode, I'll stay on this side as I want to explore the wilderness a bit more. So for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next uh, in the next video.